Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research, and today I'm going to look at world-class benchmarking for Century Pacific food. And this is a fan request out of the Philippines. All right, Century Pacific Food was listed on the Philippine Stock Exchange in May 2014 and is a food manufacturer. The company operates through the following segments, canned and processed fish, canned meat, dairy, and mixes, and tuna export. The canned and processed fish segment is the largest revenue contributor and produces a variety of tuna, sardine, and other fish and seafood-based products. Under brands such as Century Tuna, 555, Blue Bay, and Freshka. The canned meat segment produces corned beef, meatloaf, and a variety of other meat-based products. CNPF's brands include Argentina, Wow, and Swift. The dairy and mixes segment primarily composes canned milk, powdered milk, and other dairy products, as well as coffee mixes and sinagang mix. It's a sour Filipino soup. I've tasted it once, but I'd like to have it again. Brands include Angel, Birch Tree, Cafe de Oro, and Home Pride. So, let's look at the company's profitable growth scorecard. The company's benchmarked against 570 medium consumer staples companies worldwide. Profitable growth has fallen to number one, to number three from number one in 2014. CNPF ranked among the top 171 out of 570 medium-sized consumer staple companies. So going from a one to a two to a three down is not good. We want to maintain it one, but three is not bad. Profitability remained great at number two ranking. Growth has been weaker and ranked number six. So we can see from this that what is driving the fall in profitable growth is not profitability, but growth. So let's understand that growth. Growth is EPS growth. Now first, profitability side, asset utilization has been strong and gross uh, net profit margin has been flat. So where is the weakness happening in growth? Well, sales growth is coming down. It was a two and now it's down to a three, but that's still pretty good. But what we can see is that margin change has been five, five, eight. And so what we mean by that is an eight means that the margin during that period in the past 12 months, the margin has gone down less than or more than its competitors, or it has gone up less than. In other words, the relative move in margin is much worse. And we can see that in the actual profit margin that's gone from a three to a four. All right, so there it is. You get the idea of what's happening with CMPF. I hope that helps. And if you want to see more companies in your portfolio, well, just let me know and leave a comment below.